first of all, uh, after 30 years of experience, there is an agreement that uh, cooperation is complex. Uh, and that, uh, I would say, um, intercultural understanding and uh, communication is not a given, is not natural. Um, policy dialogue is part of our work and is often very difficult, is often slow, sometimes it fails because of gaps in uh, understanding and uh, because we are not, I would say, um, well prepared and equipped to deal with cultural uh, differences and diversity. Development is moving away from the traditional paradigm of uh, Western donors delivering aid and is moving away from the logical framework, which is a typical Western product. There are new donors coming in with new languages and with new cultures. And uh, we don't talk of projects so much, we also talk a lot of partnership. And you cannot succeed a partnership if you do not understand your partners, if you cannot talk and dialogue with them. And then I would say there is a third reason. Uh, intercultural competence are needed everywhere uh, nowadays. And development professionals uh, have a privilege that is to experience diversity every day. So in this area, they should lead by example, and development cooperation maybe can be seen as a laboratory uh, to develop this type of uh, um, competences and sensitivities uh, which we all need uh, nowadays. I think there are huge gains in, uh, in I would say, in the quality of relationship, in trust, in building trust with our partners, if you were more able to understand. When you work with people that come from different contexts and backgrounds, it's absolutely natural to go through these difficulties and through these challenges, and you can learn how to navigate through it, how to adapt without losing your identity, of course, but on the contrary, building on your identity. And this would and can generate benefits uh, for your work and uh, really for, uh, for building a, a better relationship with your partners. Uh, the World Bank has issued one of its World Development Report in 2015 uh, under the title of Mind, Society and Behaviors, which focus on uh, mental models and how donors think automatically and risk to be stuck in their own mental models. I think this is a wake-up call for all of us to be more uh, self-critical and to, to see that our own culture uh, can prevent us from understanding the culture of the others and can bring us uh, to make uh, mistakes in our work. Uh, there is a lot of talking around intercultural dialogue and it's important in EU external relations and also in development. So I think that uh, the condition are uh, right for starting working in this area. We need to uh, progressively um, build um, a toolkit that responds uh, to what our colleagues need in delegation and uh, in headquarters. Um, and I think that this nicely fits the new interest that the Commission and the AIS have on culture in external relations.